फ्रेंड्स विल स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज नाउ और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट डिटरमाइंस द पेनिट्रेटिंग पावर ऑफ गामा रेज टाइम टाइम ऑफ टाइप ऑफ आइसोटोप सोर्स टू फिल्म डिस्टेंस सोर्स स्ट्रेंथ सो इट्स नथिंग बट टाइप ऑफ आइसोटोप बी इज द आंसर आई एड एक्सप्लेन इन द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इट Which of the following NDT methods can only detect surface breaking defects? So here the word "can only" is there, and detect surface breaking. So surface breaking can be de detected by DPI and MPI. But here the word "can only" is mentioned means only surface defects. So only surface defects is detected by dye penetrant test or dye penetrant inspection. It is DPT or uh, liquid penetrant. inspection all names are same so the answer will be b now sec third question is a penetrometer is used to measure penetrometer is nothing but the iqui image quality indicator which i explained while explaining the uh, radiography techniques like double wall double image at that time i had explained what is iqui so iqi is used to measure the size of discontinuity in a weld joint the density of a radiography film the degree of film contrast or the quality of radiography technique so answer is d penetrometer or iqi is used to measure the quality of radiography technique now here one more option was there the degree of film contrast the density of radiography film so yes i want to ask you a question what instrument is used to measure the density of a radiographic film this you answer me in the comment box what instrument is used to measure the density of radiography film but for the time being answer of this question is d now next question for gamma radiography of a steel weld at 40 mm thickness the recommended isotope each so i had explained the uh, in isotopes and applicable thickness range in the video lecture series and it's nothing but iridium 192 so we'll move to our next question next question is when considering radiography using x ray which of the following technique is most likely to be used for a pipe to pipe weld circumferential sig 610 mm diameter with no internal excess so please think for a second then i will answer this question so what it is saying that the diameter of the pipe is 610 mm but there is no internal excess in that case we can use double wall single image less than 100 image uh, less than 100 mm it was double wall double image and more than 100 mm it was double wall single image this i had explained in the video lecture series so the answer will be b double wall single image technique now question number 6 the sensitivity of the radiograph is accessed by using densitometer by using an image quality indicator from the kva used from stand of used so the sensitivity of a radiograph is can be accessed nothing but uh, by penetrometer or iqi so the answer will be b by using an image quality indicator by using densitometer what we can do so by using densitometer we can check the density of the radiographic film now question number 7 the penetrating power of an x ray set is expressed in i had explained in the video lecture series penetrating power of an x ray can be expressed in kilovolt and penetrating power of radioactive isotope or penetrating power of gamma rays can be expressed on the uh, type of isot isotope so the answer will be a now ultrasonic testing is of advantage in detecting which of the following weld imperfection over other ndt method so it is asking about the you know which particularly about which uh, you know defect which can be de detected with the help of ultrasonic testing 
सो लैक ऑफ साइड वॉल फ्यूजन सर्फेस अंडरकट इनकम्प्लीटली फील्ड ग्रुप एंड ओवरलॉक प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन वंस अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अल्ट्रासोनिक टेस्टिंग इज ऑफ एडवांटेज इन डिटेक्टिंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वेल्ड इम परफेक्शन ओवर अदर एन डी टी मैथड मीन्स ओवर कंपेयरिंग टू ऑल फोर एन डी टी मैथड्स इन फॉलोइंग द ऑप्शन इन दिज ऑप्शन विच डिफेक्ट इज मोर लाइबल और मोर प्रोमिनेंट कैन बी प्रोमिनेंटली कैन बी डिटेक्टेड बाई अल्ट्रासोनिक टेस्टिंग इफ कंपेयर्ड अदर एन डी टी मैथड्स सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट प्लेनर डिफेक्ट्स लाइक लैक ऑफ साइड वॉल फ्यूजन इज कैन बी प्रोमिनेंटली चेक फ्रॉम अल्ट्रासोनिक टेस्टिंग एंड अलॉन्ग विद दिस आई एड ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू दैट लेमिनेशन डिफेक्ट इन पेरेंट मेटल विल ऑल्सो भी चेक बाई अल्ट्रासोनिक टेस्टिंग ऑनली अल्ट्रासोनिक वुड बी प्रीफर्ड ओवर रेडियोग्राफी ड्यू टू so what are the points in favor of ultrasonic over radiography ability to find most defect lower skill requirement ability to detect delamination see ability to detect lamination this is one of the biggest reason with with the help of ultrasonic test we can detect lamination right lower skill requirement no in ultrasonic testing the operator skill should be very high very high so this is not the answer ability to find most defects yes with the help of ultrasonic test we can detect more defects if we compare other ndt methods so the answer will be a and c that is d both a and c now which ndt method would never be used on a 6 inch aluminum pipe the answer is radiography magnetic particle inspe inspection ultrasonic testing dye penetrant test so they have mentioned all four basic ndt method and what they have mentioned 6 inch aluminum pipe first here the word aluminum is there so i had in my video lecture series i had told you that non magnetic item non ferromagnetic item like aluminum and austenitic stainless steel they cannot be checked with the help of magnetic particle inspection hence this 6 inch has no significance if the aluminum is mentioned we can straight over give the answer that it is magnetic particle inspection with the help of magnetic particle inspection we cannot check aluminum so the answer will be b b now next question question number 11 what is the correct inspection method for finding lap so guys if you know about lap then you can answer that lap is something on the surface or near to the surface hence we can check it by mpi yes we can check it by dpi that is dye penetrant test uh, yes if you can check it by visual inspection yes lap is present on the uh, surface also so any of the above our answer will be d which of the following is the most commonly used isotope for radiographic so i had explained very clearly that iridium 192 is the most commonly used isotope in the industry so answer will be iridium 192 c now next question question number 13 which of the following would show as light indications on a radiograph so i had explained the greater density indications will show as light indication so greater density slag inclusion and copper inclusion tungsten inclusion and excessive penetration cap undercut and root piping excessive cap height and incomplete penetration so among these options option b is correct why because tungsten inclusion the density of tungsten is always more than the base metal and second excessive penetration if there is excessive penetration then that density of those that penetration will be you know logically you can say that it will be more than the adjacent material hence the answer will be b now on which of the following would you not use mpi inspection answer is a low carbon steel butt weld joint an austenitic stainless steel fillet welded t joint a medium carbon steel fillet welded lab joint all of the above please think for a second and then answer this question so the answer is an austenitic stainless steel fillet welded t joint here fillet welded t joint is just you know it is it has try to just divert your mind there is no significance in that see whenever austenitic stainless steel is mentioned then it is non magnetic or it is non uh, non ferromagnetic hence it can never be checked with the mpi inspection so answer will be b 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉन्टेमिनेशन कुड अफेक्ट द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ ए पेनिट्रेंट सी सेंसिटिव ऑफ ए पेनिट्रेंट कैन बी यू नो अफेक्टेड इफ देर आर कॉन्टेमिनेशन प्रेजेंट कॉन्टेमिनेशन इन एनी फॉर्म एनी फॉरन मटेरियल देन द you know sensitivity will be affected hence here the name written acid water salts all of the above no contamination no foreign material is required during penetrant inspection i told you very clearly during the lecture itself that it should be free from grease rust oil foreign particles paints everything hence the answer will be d all of the above no contamination is uh, good for dye penetrant test now for gamma radiography of a steel weld at 40 mm thick the radio recommended isotope is i explained very clearly with the help of thickness range it is nothing but iridium 192 c now lamellar tearing has occurred in a steel fabrication before welding it could have been found by x ray examination dye penetrant ultrasonic inspection it would not have been found by any inspection method please think for a second so friends before giving the answer let me tell you that lamellar tearing occurs after welding not before welding but here the question is before welding could it have been found by so before welding there is no chance hence the answer would be it would not have been found by any inspection method answer is d now next question which of the following steel is non magnetic so if you have a bit idea about steel then you can answer but here for the time being i'll give you the answer but later on the material section i'll explain this also see 18% chrome plus 8% nickel is nothing but austenitic stainless steel i have told you earlier that austenitic stainless steel are non magnetic hence the answer is a now moving to our last question this question asks the use of cobalt as an isotope would generally be used on thin material t joint plate thickness greater than 25 mm none of the above i had very clearly explained the use of cobalt 60 when you can use so i hope you will answer this question i expect that you will write the answer of this question in the comment box of this video so friends please answer this question i will give the answer through on the community tab of my channel i hope you like this video thank you very much